Hi, this is Dad the Dad Coach, and today I'm going to talk about stretching. And uh, it's often you there's a, you hear a little bit about stretching from time to time, and sometimes it's more popular than others. But I'm really talking about stretching for muscle growth and uh, for tissue growth. Um, and uh, typically, you hear a lot of people. There's a lot of different techniques and philosophies um, regarding fascial stretching because fascia is the um, tissue that surrounds all of your skeletal muscle, your striated muscle in your body. And it can oftentimes constrain growth. Uh, when the muscle gets big enough, it can, that fascia doesn't grow with it. You have to stretch it. And if it doesn't, if it's not, if the, that fascia isn't malleable enough or stretchy enough, it will constrain the muscle and it will, it, and it won't be able to push more nutrients into the muscles and grow at a maximal rate. So stretching in between, and I, well, I recommend stretching in between sets. You can also do other forms of, of organized stretching. So going out and having somebody help stretch you and do some fascial stretching can be very, very effective, but that's sort of time consuming and you have to, you have to make appointments and schedule some things to do those kinds of things. But an easy, simple way is to um, do some fascial, some, some limited fascial stretching during your workouts. So uh, pick uh, whatever body parts you're working and in between your working sets, you, you could stretch. Um, and, a fa and a good fascial stretch uh, for our purposes here to help create that, um, that extended elasticity in the, in the connective tissue is to stretch right to the point of pain, right to the limits, not to where you're going to cause yourself pain or injury, but right to the limit and hold it. It's a static stretch, not a bouncing stretch. You never want to do that ballistic style of stretching, but a static stretch, something that where you can stretch it to the limit, right where you get to the pain, and then hold it. And you want to hold it, this is the important part, you want to hold it for about 20 to 30 seconds. That will give you, and then you want to repeat this in between your sets. And by the time you get done with, say, a chest workout or a back workout or shoulder workout, you're doing this continuously throughout your workout, you'll get a really good fascial stretch. Muscles will stay loose and malleable. That connective tissue will stay nice and loose. And then you'll, you'll be able to aid in helping your body grow at its maximal rate. So I hope that was helpful for everybody. Stretch for muscle growth. Um, fascial, so it's a limited kind of fascial stretching. Hope that was helpful. I, uh, this is Tad the Diet Coach saying stay positive. And we'll see you next time. Brought to you by Top Secret Nutrition's Pump Igniter for a great workout and a great pump. For more information about Tad the Diet Coach, go to tadthedietcoach.com or find us on Facebook.